Hey all here at OS Reviews, you're watching our hands-on review of the Broski Letty. These are active noise-canceling headphones, which are also Bluetooth, so you can connect them wirelessly to your phone or tablet. Now the keyword here is on premium, because they are trying to compete with other more expensive headphones like the Bose 700, Quiet Comfort series, Sony's, as well as Sennheiser's. So it's trying to be a bit more aggressive in terms of giving you hi-fi sound than on other budget headphones from brands like Blue Dio, for example, that are going for more of a bargain price tag. So these will retail for 150 bucks, which are still about half the price of these more expensive uh, and well-known brands, uh, but there will be an Indiegogo campaign where where you can get this at a slightly lower price, around a hundred bucks or so. So this is a product that was backed by Olympic athletes, uh, medalists in fact. They had different uh, critiques in mind of what they found problematic about existing designs with headphones, and they then kind of gave them to this company, Broski, which worked on them. And in that way, it's been able to receive lots of feedback and also some endorsements. Otherwise, it features, again, 20 hours of playback time, a little bit shorter, around 15 hours if you're using it in the active noise-canceling mode, which is about average compared to other wireless Bluetooth headphones on the market. There's a built-in microphone as well for answering phone calls, and you can also use it as a pair of wired headphones if you don't want to use it in the Bluetooth mode. The active noise cancelling can be turned on regardless of if you're connected to Bluetooth, so you can still switch it on just to sleep or rest in comfort. We have a 40 millimeter driver and a frequency response range of 20 to 20,000 hertz. We actually see Alice once we open up this box, and inside here there's also a quick flap that tells us how to wear them comfortably. Opening up the case itself, we have another soft carrying pouch inside uh, to protect it if you don't want to bring along something a little larger. We also have access to a 3.5 millimeter auxiliary cable if you want to use them as wired headphones. And there is also a charging cable which is again using micro USB on this particular pair. So I do wish that this was using USB type C, uh, but Overall, again, it's not too big of a deal, I suppose, on some headphones. The headphones themselves, as you can see here, can definitely be folded down to a pretty tight extent. You can swivel it out like this and then put it into the correct orientation for music listening. So there's quite a bit of flexibility and movement that should give you a very comfortable fit and finish. First impressions would be that they are surprisingly lightweight. The construction is predominantly made out of plastic as opposed to, say, aluminum, like on the latest Bose 700 series. And on the bottom here, we have access to the micro USB port for charging, a status LED light, microphone, active noise cancelling key that you can tap on, 3.5 millimeter headphone jack, and then all the controls for playing and pausing your music and skip tracks. The keys themselves are spaced a little tightly together, but they do have a good amount of tactile sensation, so you can kind of delineate between them. There's a texture to the play and pause key in the middle, so you can always find it relatively easily, and again, they are nicely textured and domed. One thing to keep in mind though is that they're going to be sweat proof, but it's not waterproof. Again, the ports here are not covered up, so make sure you don't get them completely wet. But as long as you're just walking around, uh, maybe even working out in the gym, they should be perfectly fine. Oversized lettering for the left and right sides, and again, a very generous and thick coating for the padding, which makes them quite comfortable. These are fully over your style headphones, by the way, which envelops your ears inside and uh, makes it feel very comfortable and does have a bit of noise isolation just by virtue of having a larger cup design compared to, say, on your style headphones, uh, such as the Liner NC80s that we checked out a few months back, which are much smaller in terms of their cup size, as you can see there. Uh, this one here is a lot closer to the actual Bose Quiet Comforts in terms of its overall dimensions, but also not quite as large as, say, the Blue Dio Turbines, which, as you can see here, have a much larger cup. Moving into audio quality and performance, overall I'm very impressed with the sound quality. I would say that compared directly to the Bose Quiet Comforts when it comes to the ANC, it's still a slight step behind. It might not be 100% to the extent of Bose, which has been the industry leader for many years now, but they do get very close, just effortlessly canceling out most of the fan sounds, engine noises, and even some of the people's voices as they're talking around you. So it is going to give you a lot of uh, focus immersion on your music or just for resting purposes. Uh, in my opinion, it gets around, I'd say, 95% of a noise cancellation effective compared to, say, the Bose, which gets closer to 97% or 98%, uh, but all in all, again, certainly good enough. And again, a step above most of the other budget ANC headphones we've seen this year from brands like Empow and Tautronics. So kudos here to Broski for doing this, despite being a relatively new company. Now, when it comes to the actual sound quality,
quality itself, I would say that there is also a good amount of bass. It might not be quite as bass heavy as the aforementioned Blue Dio Turbine T7s. However, it certainly is already quite good for Bluetooth headphones. And at the same time, mids and highs are very well reproduced and giving us a nice balance overall for listening to pop music and also for watching movies. There's not too much latency here either, despite using the older Bluetooth 4.1 standard. So I'm happy to find that I can play and pause the track on YouTube and it still is a playing back at a relatively quick and responsive rate. Even as just traditional wired headphones turning off Bluetooth and all the digital amps, it does have a really impressive kind of sound profile to it. Again, with a nice amount of bass, not earth shattering, but still very much present. If you're watching a movie, it can get quite thumpy and also mids and highs, vocals are really clean and crisp. There's very little hints of distortion. So there's almost no hum or static in the background when ANC is turned off. The introduction of ANC does inject a little bit more, more noise into your sound. That's the same thing that can be said about the Bose 700 and QuietComfort headphones as well, is that whenever you turn that on, of course, it's gonna add a little bit of digital noise. It's not as silent as it was before, uh, but it also cancels out more of the loudness around you at the same time. So that's more or less it for our hands-on review of the Broski ANC headphones. Overall, I would say they've exceeded my expectations when it comes to giving you a really rich dynamic sound quality in addition to surprisingly good active noise canceling. Um, I would say it's about the same level as the Liner NC80s, which I considered as one of the best budget pairs I've tried uh, outside of, say, the really premium Bose QuietComfort line. Otherwise, as long as you can overlook perhaps the more generic design, which isn't the most vibrant or distinctive thing in the world, and you care about the comfort and the sound quality more than that, and I'd say that these are definitely a great option to consider. They're definitely a step up compared to the aforementioned Blue Dio, MPOW, and Tautronics when it comes to ANC and sound quality, but they're also still relatively affordable, I'd say. You can learn more details if interested in the links down below. That's been the Broski Letty noise-canceling headphones.